Welcome back to another episode of the Wakefield Career Mode here on FC24, the Youth Academy Career Mode, in fact, where we are now at Season 4 of this Youth Academy Career Mode. We're still in League 1, spinning now what is going to be our second season in League 1. It seems like we are in trend to do two seasons per league until we obviously get to the Premier League. Then we'll probably stay in the Premier League forever. There are going to be some minor slash biggest changes in the series to go on forward, but maybe I'm just overreacting. But for now, we have Martins, who's come back from loan. He actually wasn't on back from loan. I just bring him back from loans. Santos is back off of loan. 80 overall in League One is absolutely insane. I'm sure he's going to get a transfer at some point, but for the time being, he is in the starting 11. And now we are going to kick things off. I went ahead and just manually gave myself a scouting report to kick things off in today's episode. We do have three nations. We are in France. As you can tell there, and actually let me go to youth staff. We are in France for three months. We are in Italy for three months, and we are in England for three months. France being on type attacker to see if we can get any decent French attacking talents. Trying to find the next Mbappe, Giroud, somebody like that, Thierry Henry. But it's looking just from this list, it's looking very, very kind. Oh, Leon, come on. Maybe I spoke too soon. Leon, come on. 1.4 million for him. We'll go ahead and sign him up. I believe we have one center back in the Youth Academy at the moment from last season. We'll probably end up bringing him in as well. Marseille Gourmet, he's going to come in as well. So we actually get two decentish French players in there. Now over to Italy, which I think have been... I think I already went to Italy once in this series and has been not really the greatest. But this guy, no, he had opportunity there to be one of the good ones. And then over to homeland England, 650k on James Lawrence. 70 overall max with a potential of 71 and 94. His value, or his yeah, his value makes me think he's around 60, 62 maybe, if that. This guy is 200k, but other than that, honestly, I don't think anybody else here is looking like they're going to have a future at the club. I do not need another goalkeeper. We also are going to go ahead and impl implement one more rule back into the series. Now, at the very beginning, I signed three players off the free agent market. Those were only three players that were youth academy players, youth generated players. I'm going to go ahead and allow myself to sign one free agent for now until we get to the Premier League. One free agent per season. From the free agent market. It has to obviously be a youth academy player. It cannot be a higher overall. Than the position that I'm looking for. So if it was for Laporte. It cannot be a 66 Laporte. It would have to be 65. If it was Santos. For Santos in instance. It could be 80. But honestly not really 80. I wouldn't go. I wouldn't play Santos if I need to. But honestly looking at this. If I were to sign anyone for free. It would probably be for somebody like Steele, Ramos maybe, Laporte maybe, even though I think Laporte's going to have a fantastic season for us. Maybe even in the midfield, because I doubt Martins is going to stay here for that much longer. But we'll go ahead and see. I'm not going to force myself to sign one. I just have the opportunity to sign one. Let me go see these other guys that we just brought in. So 61, a 60, and a 61 overall striker, in fact, there. We might go ahead and instantly bring him up, and he might be challenging Laporte there. But we also had Peter Wash in from last season, and we will probably bring him in as well. And we are going to change him to be left-footed. No, we're not. We're going to change him to be right. The only problem with that is he's 5'11". He's 5'11", so he's not really a, a tall center back. But we'll definitely bring him in. He'll be our first, I guess, addition to this team. And there we go. We get our first big club coming in for one of our players. And it's in fact for the player that we just bought off alone. I was surprised it's not Santos yet. But Arsenal want Claudio Martins for around 9.2 million. We can try and get 12 million. But honestly, we don't need the money for that. The money that we do get, it goes into the stadium. Not really, but it could go into the stadium when we improve on that. We are just going to go ahead and accept 9.2 million there in Claudio Martins might be the first player leaving the club this summer. And in fact, he is. He's on his way to Arsenal as we speak. Maybe I should have left him on loan, though. 
maybe I should have left him on loan for another season. He wouldn't have returned into January of next season. He was only on loan for six months out of its two-year deal. But he's gone now for $9.2 million. And our second player is walking out of the front door. Mr. Hamda is going to go ahead and leave over to Everton. I believe Everton are still in the top flight of the Premier League, obviously. And if not, then I just made a massive mistake because I'm only selling to the big clubs in European football, a.k.a. Premier League, the big five leagues, the first division of each country. Everton are going to go ahead and pick themselves up. Hamdan Nunn. And he's honestly, he's kind of been mid, to be in complete honest. But he was 74 overall in the short time he was here. But $9 million for him, honestly, is not too bad at all. I will happily take that. That does mean we are back down to Porter, though, being our starting winger on the left-hand side. So maybe that's somebody we go in on the free agent market or look to find somebody in the youth academy in that position. First match of the season, this is our starting 11, Porter, Laporte, Ramos, Santos. Nobody's come in for Santos yet. Varela, Fox is in the midfield. Actually, no, it's going to be Malor. Malor should be starting this game. Cordoba, Steele, Weston, Sykes, and Veda in net. We have Clement, who we just scouted. He comes into the starting substitute. Not the starting 11, but the, the substitute, I should say, more than. We also have Dennis and Watts on the bench with Shabala obviously continuing to get dropped from this team. We are going to go and offer Mr. Laporte a plus one shooting if he can score a goal in the first half. Now into Santos. Santos in towards Porter. Porter taking out. Surely a red card. That's last defender. It's going to be an early red card for Wakambe. They are down to 10 men with only five minutes gone in the game. This guy was gone through. I'm not sure how he connected to Porter, but he did. And it's an early, early red card. It's an early substitution for them. They no longer have a, I believe that was a striker, maybe even a winger. But they are down a man early. It's Videla into Cordoba. Now into Ramos. Ramos with the shot. Somebody did come in for Ramos. The deals is still going on, ongoing, though. We're trying to get the max out of Ramos. Videla heads it down, but it'll fall for low. The cross comes in. Porter heads it down to Varela. He'll clear it to Santos. Santos now. He has Ramos there, but he gets taken down in the midfield by Lowe. Now Lowe into Ward. Ward into padded in, and it's 1-0 for 10 men with Kambe. Now into Malor. Malor with the shot from distance. Save. Varela couldn't get to the rebound. It'll be cleared by a defender. Hold on now. I'm trying to double the lead. And it might happen. Ward. 2-0. Oh, but, 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 okay. How is that gone in then? It's 3-0. It's 3-0. How has this gone in? The shot from Vincent Young. Is that def that has to be deflected by somebody? There's no way that's not deflected right here. It comes off Mayor's hand into the back of the net. That is unfortunate. Santos is hurt. We're down 3-0. They're down one man and somehow still controlling this game. It's absolutely insane. Porter, Santos. Santos still defensive well. Now Varela. Varela into Laporte. Laporte into Ramos. Ramos shot off the post. Varela rebound. Back in the net. It's 3-1. And we're back into the game here. But Santos will come off. He's still injured, unfortunately. Fox will come on for Mayor. Watts will come on for his debut. And Clement will come on for Laporte. Laporte, no plus one finishing for him. On Videla trying to defend nicely. Can't really do so. It's Ward. It's still Ward. It's still Ward. It's still Ward. Into Halan. Into 4 1. And that will just cut off any opportunity of some type of miracle comeback. As they quickly get a rebound goal. Defensively well. It'll fall for Fox. Fox will have a crack at it. Off target. And that will be all she wrote for this game. There's no point. I, I don't like wasting time when I'm losing. We just send to the end. We lose 4-1. It's fine like that. And the first. Well. The first real scouting report of the year. We are going back to France. Where we got two of some decent players. We have Clement. Who already made his debut. 
in this season. And it's looking like we might get one more at the body and no, we will not. Now over to Italy. It's looking like it might be the same as the French. Absolutely nothing. Richie on at left wing. Clement gets his first start at the club. Ramos. His deal broke down with Besiktas. They didn't want to offer him the max, so they just declined it and walked away. Fox is in the starting 11, and then Watts is in the starting 11 as well over Steele. We are going to go and offer Clement the same thing that we offer Laporte. Plus one finishing if he can go ahead and get a goal in the first half. It's a yellow card for them early on, and it's looking like Santos is all right here. We're going to look to quickly find this to Weston. Now back to Santos, and he'll have our power shot from distance off of Rodriguez. Now Varela into Ramos. Is he on side? No. That was a great ball, though, from Varela. It's even a good shot, though, from Ramos as well. But unfortunately, just offside there. Santos cutting back into Clement. Now back into Varela. Varela on his left foot. His short shot isn't usually the best, but this time he gets the job done. And Wakefield, after being on the front foot for majority of the game, gets that breakthrough, and it's 1-0 for Wakefield here. Cordoba in towards Clement. Clement trying to find Varela. It will slip to Varela, and Varela has a brace. It's 2-0 for Wigan. Why am I always say the wrong name. It's 2-0 for Wakefield against Wigan. And it's three goals in two games for Vadella. He is starting the season on fire at the moment. Wholesale changes for us. Laporte is coming on. Uh, Monterio is coming on at left back. Steele is coming on at center back. Porter is coming on at left wing. Richie in for midfielder into that camp spot for Santos. And then that is it. And Mayor on for Fox. So five changes in the 72nd minute here. As we're still up 2-0. Just looking to control this game. Get the game over that line. And see who player of the match is. Because player of the match, remember, gets a plus three over all boost. Well, not over all boost, but plus three stat boost. Mayor on the header, no. Weston. Now to Monterio. Monterio into Varela. Varela trying to get out wide. He cannot. Last chance. Keeper up again, but it doesn't really matter at this point as Asgard heads it wide. And that is game over. A 2-0 win over Wigan Athletic. We're for sure going to see them towards the top of the season at the end of the season. Top of the table at the end of the season as well, as long as we can make it there. Player of the match was, in fact, Vadella with the brace. He's been absolutely on fire. Clamart actually got two assists in today's game as well. That's not bad from him. But Vadella, plus, plus three stats for him. Plus one finishing for Vadella. Plus two on interceptions for Vadella. So those are the plus three stats for him. That actually boosts him up to 69 overall. Our team is shaping up nicely. I would love... Love to find a new left winger, at, but the time being, Richie is kind of that left winger position at the moment. He really is. It is Richie at the moment, and I think Steele is going to go ahead and get dropped by Watts for the time being. We get knocked down the Calvary Cup, perfectly what we wanted by Salford City. We don't want no cup competitions. We want to focus solely on the league, but we do. We'll have the EFL trophy, I believe, the Papa John's trophy, whatever it is. And we are going to go ahead and bring in our one free agent signing. It's going to be a left winger. Well, it's going to be a right winger. He's going to turn to a left winger if I haven't already done so. Check. He's going to come in. He's 67 overall as a right winger. So that is fine with Ramos. But the thing is, I'm going to change him to a left winger. So I'm kind of changing the system a little bit. But Sean Shaq, he will come into the team he instantly starting over Porter. That way we can have Richie B focusing on Cam and as a backup Cam, maybe even the starting Cam because I still think Ramos is going to leave at some point during this transfer window. Or Santos, I should say, not Ramos. Santos is going to leave. But Check comes into the team. And here is his stats as a left winger, 67 overall. He has high-low work rate, which is honestly fine. His crossing is great. His finishing is good enough. His acceleration is awesome as well. Decent stamina. We are going to go ahead and improve everything up here, including his weak foot, because I believe he is, is he left-footed? No, he is right-footed. So that will be perfectly fine. Left-footed, 
on the left hand side and instantly in their starting 11. We will go ahead and play one more game against Peterborough United. They currently sit on two. We have three. So they drew their both both of the games. We obviously won and then lost. And that is going to be the starting 11, the same that we just used. We are going to go ahead and offer the new guy. Does he have a play style? He does have dead ball plus style plus as well. We are going to go ahead and offer Mayor one pass, one plus one passing if he can complete 20 passes in today's game. It's Ajabo in behind already. The keeper standing still, and it's 1 0 for Peter Bro within six minutes of the game. Watts, Santos, it will fall for check. Now into Laporte. Laporte fake shot into Vadella. Vadella, the fourth goal of the season for Vadella. He is on fire. It's 1 1. And Vadella just can't stop scoring at the moment. Four goals in three games. Watts, Cordoba, Vadella, Laporte. Now good ball from Vadella. Laporte into Santos. Touch. Shot into the back of the net. And Whitfield take the lead. Santos' first goal of this season. And it's 2 1. And finally, somebody else from Vadella doesn't score. Burks, Wakeling, it's 2 0. Not 2 0, it's 2 2. Right before halftime. Plus one minute, by the way. Plus one minute, and we're plus three. I know it's minimum, but that's that's insane. That's absurd. I'm going to go ahead and change Mayor's thing to 75% pack pass accuracy. He's currently on 100. He only has two passes in this game, which is insane to even think about. It's Vadella into Weston. Weston is still the club captain. Sykes. Mayor, Santos, Laporte, Varela, Varela to give us a lead, and it's another brace from Varela. This guy cannot stop scoring. Nobody can stop him. Sykes, still Sykes. It's still Sykes. He'll try and find Ramos. He will. Ramos over the top for Clement. Can he control that? He can. Clement from a far distance. Santos on the rebound. It's 4-2. Now I believe. I believe it's 4. And it's a brace for Varela. And it's a brace for Santos. Those two are going to be battling it out for man of the match. Ramos doing the defensive work there. Sykes. Mayor. Back to Ramos. Ramos will cut back. Now into Sykes. Sykes back to Ramos. Crossed into the box. It might fall for Clement. It will. And Clement gets his first goal of his career here against Peterborough. It's 5-2 for Wakefield. We are absolutely in cruise control now. Clement gets his first goal of the season. His first goal of his career, in fact. And Mayor will come off for Fox for these last seven or so minutes. He's still not blowing his whistle. Hello, referee. Referee, you would have blown your whistle if it was me. If I if I needed this goal, you would have blown your whistle. Cordoba, Veto with the save. Cordoba will clear it. That will be game over. A 5-2 thumping against Peterborough United. A brace from Vedela and Santos. A goal for Clement. And our second win of the season. And we are absolutely flying at the moment. Obviously, that one loss to kick the season off didn't really help, but it is there. Now, the question is, Laporte got man of the match with three assists. So, man, that didn't really have much finishing there. He got three assists, so he'll get man of the match over top Santos and Varela. Honestly, I'm not mad about that because Varela doesn't need back-to-back -back man of the matches. Santos definitely doesn't really need any improvements at the moment. I'm happy with Laporte getting plus three there. Did Mayor get 75% accuracy? He did, 83%. So plus one for passing for Mayor, plus three stats anywhere for Laporte. That is good work from the boys. Now, Mayor's long passing, there's technically two passing stats for both for for each player. Mayor's short passing was 77, his long pass was 69, so we just boost that up to 70. So now both on 70s, and there is his one plus one passing. I forgot that it's two different passing things, but that is that for him. Now plus three for Laporte. And Laporte gets plus three attack position from 57 to 60. I don't usually like grouping them all up on one thing, but let's just go ahead and boost that up to 60 and see what he can do later on. Trying to keep the pressure on him and Clement in the starting 11. 
When we come back, we will end the transfer window. Bolton, Leighton Orient, MK Dons, as well as probably getting through this month of September as well. We have Portsmouth, we have Burton, we have Oxford, Bado, Fleetwood, and then Crew Alexandria in the cup. I'm going to try and lose as much as I can. But I will see you on next episode. Leave a like, subscribe, and peace out.